Hello and welcome back to another episode of Festo's Garage. Today we're working on a 2012 Toyota Prius V. And the problem with this car is that the blower motor for the air conditioning is starting to make some noise. Let's check it out. So I've got the fan on and I can hear a rumbling noise coming from behind the dashboard. And um, if I move over to the fan speed, I can change the speed of the fan and I can hear the rumbling noise change. Can you hear that? So it sounds like something's off balance or maybe a bearing's gone bad, something like that. It's still blowing air out and everything. It's just uh, the sweet, beautiful lady that owns the car does not want to get stuck without air conditioning if she has dogs in the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to order another one of these blower motors from Rock Auto or from Amazon. I'll let you know which in a minute. And we're going to install it when it comes in. See you in a bit. Okay, yesterday we took a look at the Prius V and diagnosed that the blower motor was the problem. We went on to Rock Auto and to Amazon and we found that Amazon with Prime membership had a fan available overnight. So that's what we got. So we're going to open that up, check it out. Uh, make sure it looks correct. I mean, they say it, it works for this model of Prius. Yes, indeed. There we go. There's nothing else in the box. Make sure. And nothing else in the box, just this fan. It does seem to spin. It's got a little weight right there. Um, so hopefully this thing is going to work out for what we what we want to do and not make any noise. Uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to get in once you take a look at it. You'll see that it has just three bolt holes, three screws and then a plug for your wiring and a hookup right here so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll show you in the car where to put it and, and how to take it out this is one of the easiest jobs you can do yourself don't pay a shop to do this all right we're down here on the passenger side of the car this is the glove box and uh, this is where the passenger's feet would go and the blower motor is directly up under right where my fingers pointing right up under there where your passenger's left foot would go so the way that I do this job is I take the floor mat out, sit it on the ground, so I put my knees on it, and then there's a, a plastic panel that we have to remove, and I'm going to go ahead and try to show you that. Alright, so that plastic panel is right here, underneath the glove box, and what you have is you have little clips right here that you got to get your finger, just push them in, and this panel will come down. You have a little connector right here that you want to push in and unplug. And then the panel will pop out. You see it's got this little tab which sticks into this hole in the back. That'll be important for putting it back together. Now, directly above that is our blower motor. And those mounting screws that we saw earlier right here and there and there. And you'll be able to see exactly where they're located by looking at your new blower motor. So you have no problem getting you get to, to the bolt on this side of the blower motor. You have to take out one Phillips head screw right here. See it? Right there. And that'll let this wiring harness with these white plugs, that'll let this drop down out of the way so you can get to that last bolt or the first bolt depending on which order you took it off in. Alright, got that out of the way. Now I can get to this last bolt. Alright, we got our blower motor down. Now we just need to unplug this plug. Alright, we've unplugged it. Now what we want to do is check it out, make sure it looks the same as our new unit, and uh, physically, everything's in the same place, and uh, these do, these look the same, let's see if we can see any problems with this one, oh yeah, it definitely doesn't spin good, let's try our new one, compare it. It's a lot easier to spin. You can see our new one 
has been balanced and everything so hopefully it'll uh it'll be quiet when we put it back in here and we'll have no more issues with some noise pretty cool right, you want to make sure that this is lined up in the hole and then all your bolt holes are lined up before you put the bolts back in and then start each one of the three bolts first and then tighten them down afterwards but start all three all right we've got our three bolts back in the motor now we want to put our screw and our wire back up in place okay with our phillips head screw all right we've got our wiring connected here so now we're down to the last step put this panel back together and that's as simple as plugging this wire back into this connector lining our little pin up with our slot back there and then pushing the clips back up into these holes Look at that. We're done with this job. All besides testing it out. Let's put the floor mat back in. Let's go over and see what she sounds like. We're back in the car. We're gonna turn her on real quick. And we're gonna test her out, see how she does, see if the uh, AC blows with no noise. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh man, yeah, she's blowing out the vents great. I hear no noise from the motor down there. Oh man, well, she's gonna be happy with that job right there. Nice cool AC for her and the dogs. You could uh, definitely do this job yourself, as you can see. Took less than an hour, saved at least $100 from a shop. I got the blower motor for $70 from Amazon, less than $70. So basically, I repaired this air conditioner and have it blow a nice cold, no noise again, 70 bucks. You can do the same thing yourself. You've watched the video to this point. I want to say thank you very much. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Help the channel grow. Until next time, Greg Festo out.